in the heart of an ancient Igbo village, nestled amidst rolling hills and lush greenery, there lived a young girl named Neka. Neko's story was one of hardship and struggle, for she was born into a family of outcasts. Her parents, Okeke and Adeku, were once respected members of the community until a tragic event befell them, tarnishing their reputation and leaving them shunned by their fellow villagers. It all began many years ago when Okeke, a skilled hunter, ventured deep into the forest in search of game. Unbeknownst to him, a fierce and powerful leopard roamed the same territory, terrorizing the villagers and striking fear into the hearts of all who crossed its path. Determined to rid his village of this menace, Okeke embarked on a daring hunt, tracking the elusive beast deep into the heart of the forest. For days, Okeke pursued the leopard, his senses sharpened by years of hunting experience. But just as he closed in on his prey, disaster struck. The leopard, sensing Okeke's presence, launched a sudden and ferocious attack, leaving him gravely wounded and fighting for his life. Miraculously, Okeke managed to fend off the beast and escape with his life, but the encounter left him scarred both physically and emotionally. Word of Okeke's bravery spread throughout the village, but with it came whispers of doubt and suspicion. Some claimed that Okeke had provoked the leopard, while others accused him of cowardice, suggesting that he had fled at the first sign of danger. Unable to bear the weight of the accusations, Okeke and his wife Adeko retreated into seclusion, shunned by their former friends and neighbors. It was amidst this atmosphere of isolation and despair that Neka came into the world. From the moment of her birth, she was branded as the child of outcast, destined to carry the burden of her parents' shame. Despite their circumstances, Okeke and Adeku showered Neka with love and affection, determined to shield her from the harsh realities of their existence. As Neka grew older, she became aware of the whispers and stares that followed her wherever she went. She longed to be accepted by her peers, to play with the other children and laugh freely without fear of judgment. But try as she might, Neko could not escape the shadow of her family's past, and she soon resigned herself to a life of solitude and rejection. Despite her hardships, Neko possessed a spirit as bright as the noonday sun, her laughter ringing out like a melody amidst the quiet of the village. She found solace in the company of nature, spending her days exploring the forest and communing with the animals that called it home. It was here, amidst the towering trees and babbling brooks, that Neko found a sense of peace and belonging that had eluded her in the confines of the village. One day, while wandering through the forest, Neko stumbled upon a hidden glade bait in golden sunlight. In the center of the glade stood a majestic baobab tree, its gnarled branches reaching towards the sky like outstretched arms. Drawn by an inexplicable force, Neko approached the tree, her heart pounding with anticipation as she reached out to touch its rough bark. As her fingers brushed against the tree's surface, a strange sensation washed over Neko, filling her with a sense of warmth and comfort. And then, in a flash of light, the baobab tree began to speak, its voice deep and resonant like the rumble of distant thunder. Fear not, child of the earth, the tree intoned, its words echoing through the glade. For though you may be unwanted in the eyes of others, you are beloved in the eyes of the forest. Your spirit is pure and untainted, and it is this parody that shall guide you on your journey. Neko listened in awe as the baobab tree spoke, its words stirring something deep within her soul. For the first time in her life, she felt a glimmer of hope, a flicker of possibility that perhaps her destiny was not predetermined by the sins of her parents. From that day forth, Neko visited the baobab tree regularly, seeking guidance and wisdom in its ancient branches. With each passing day, she felt herself growing stronger and more confident, her fears and insecurities melting away like money mist beneath the sun's rays. Little did Neka know, her life was about to take a dramatic turn, 
For word had spread throughout the kingdom of a great calamity that threatened the very fabric of society. The king, a wise and just ruler, had fallen gravely ill, and despite the efforts of his advisors and healers, his condition continued to worsen with each passing day. Desperate for a solution, the king's advisors searched far and wide for a cure, but their efforts proved fruitless. It seemed as though all hope was lost, until one day, a rumor reached the king's ears of a young girl with the power to heal even the most incurable of ailments. Intrigued by the possibility of salvation, the king dispatched messengers throughout the kingdom, summoning the girl to his court with promises of riches and rewards beyond her wildest dreams. And so it was that Neko received word of the king's summons, her heart pounding with excitement and trepidation as she prepared to embark on the journey of a lifetime. As Neko made her way to the king's palace, she could scarcely believe the turn of events that had led her to this moment. From unwanted outcast to potential savior of the kingdom, her life had become a whirlwind of adventure and opportunity. And though she knew not what the future held, she faced it with courage and determination, ready to embrace whatever fate had in store. Upon her arrival at the palace, Neka was ushered into the king's chambers, where she beheld the ruler of the realm lying pale and frail upon his bed. With trembling hands, she approached the king, her heart heavy with compassion as she gazed upon his weakened form. Fear not, your majesty, Neka whispered, her voice filled with warmth and sincerity. For I have come to offer you the gift of healing, that you may rise from your bed and reclaim your rightful place upon the throne. The king's eyes widened in disbelief as he listened to Neko's words, a glimmer of hope igniting within his soul. Could it be possible that this humble girl possessed the power to save him from the brink of death? With a silent prayer on his lips, the king closed his eyes and awaited Neko's touch. With gentle hands, Neka began to weave her magic, channeling the energy of the earth and the wisdom of the forest into the king's body. As she walked, a warm golden light enveloped the king, suffusing him with renewed strength and vitality. And then, in a moment of radiant brilliance, the king's eyes fluttered open, his face illuminated by a smile as bright as the noonday sun. You have saved me, child of the earth, the king exclaimed, his voice filled with awe and gratitude. For your kindness and compassion, I shall reward you with riches beyond measure and honor you as my most trusted advisor. And so it was that Neka, the unwanted outcast, became the queen of the realm, her beauty and wisdom renowned throughout the kingdom. With her guidance, the king's reign was marked by prosperity and peace, as the people rallied behind their beloved queen, united in their love and admiration for the girl who had once been scorned and rejected. But amidst the splendor of the palace and the adoration of her subjects, Neko remained true to herself, never forgetting the lessons she had learned amidst the quiet solitude of the forest. For it was there, in the embrace of nature's embrace, that she had discovered the true power of kindness and compassion, and it was those qualities that had ultimately led her to her rightful place as queen of the realm. And so, as the sun set upon another day in the kingdom, Neka sat upon her throne, her heart filled with gratitude for the journey that had brought her to this moment. For though she had once been unwanted and rejected, she had emerged from the darkness stronger and more resilient than ever before, a shining beacon of hope and inspiration for all who knew her. And though her tale may fade into legend with the passing of time, the spirit of Neka, the unwanted queen, would live on forever in the hearts of those who had been touched by her grace and her kindness.